Eight NFL coaches have now been hired. Five out of six general managers have now been hired. Not a single African-American or minority among them. Welcome into the Sporting News Studios. I'm Tom Vandervoort here to talk with me about all these hires and lack of minority hires. Our NFL writer Cliff Brown. And Cliff, what would you say is the reason behind 13 going on 14 hires and not a single African-American among them? Well, there's a few factors, but I think one of the biggest ones right now is that the NFL is trending towards offense, and there are very few play callers and offensive assistants of prominence in the NFL. Uh, Jim Caldwell being the all only African-American offensive coordinator. Uh, there's very few black quarterback coaches where that's a position you usually get promoted from to be the offensive coordinator from quarterback's coach. We've seen seven of the eight head coaching jobs uh, go to offensive-minded coaches, Gus Bradley, with the Jaguars being the only exception. So, you know, that makes it, I think, difficult for or more difficult for African-Americans to break through. But it's a disturbing trend to me because if this trend is going to continue to our offense, where are the black coaches going to come from? Is there, is there like a systematic reason why we don't see um, black offensive coordinators in the league, do you think? Well, that's an interesting question. Uh, some coaches believe that they are being steered towards defense. Some black coaches do. And they also feel that there is reluctance if you're an offensive coach, a position coach, whether it be a wide receiver coach or a running back coach, that there's a reluctance to promote you from that position to be either the quarterback coach or the offensive coordinator. If that is true, then it's hard to ascend from being a running backs coach or a wide receivers coach to being a head coach. No coaches uh, really make that jump. General managers are just reluctant to do that. So I think that uh, if you're a young black coach now who aspires to be a head coach, you have to really seriously consider whether you want to coach on the offensive side of the football to improve your chances. I got you. And do you, you feel like the league should step into this situation at all, or is it more cyclical, or what's the best remedy for this, do you think? I think the league needs to look at it very closely of what happened this offseason uh, with 0 for 13, including general manager and coaches, that is uh, kind of alarming in 2013 if you're really serious about improving the minority uh, hiring situation in the league. You want to talk to coaches, not just black coaches, but all coaches and general managers, talk about the hiring process, what, what went into it, and moving forward, if there is a way for the league to be more proactive in making sure that there are opportunities for African Americans to ascend on the offensive side of football. We've seen a lot of defensive oriented coaches become head coaches, you know, whether it be Tony Dungy or Lovey Smith or right. Marvin Lewis. That's usually the way that black coaches get to be head coaches. But on the offensive side of football, we're just not seeing that same progression. Very interesting. All right, Cliff, uh, we'll keep an eye on this situation. Obviously, one year from now, we'll see what happens. Appreciate your time today. Sounds good, Tom. Huh?